Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. So I've been asked a couple of times to tell you what my favorite perfumes are and what kind of body fragrance or fragrance at all I'm using. So in this video I'm going to show you a couple of products, uh, not a couple of products, but perfumes that I own that I think are worth the money and what I have in my collection. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. I don't usually wear a lot of fragrance because I'm very sensitive to fragrance. I get easy headaches and uh, that strong perfumes make me sick, <laughs> give me headache. So I do like to smell fresh, fruity, summery, that fresh just uh, coming out from shower scent. That is something I'm looking for in perfume, something that I really like and that are not too heavy. I don't like too strong perfumes. I don't like too much of a flowery scent. I don't like perfumes that smell too much fl flowers and that are too strong. So these are something that I own that I really like. So I'm going to go to, from the oldest to the newest perfumes. Something that I've been <sighs> loving and I still love it but I can't wear it because I feel I'm a little bit too old for this perfume. This is my Tommy Pile Figure. Tommy Girl. This smells, I'm going to put information here on the side about the scent because I'm very bad at describing the perfume so I'm going to put information here but I'm going to tell you how, what I feel, how I think they, how, what I feel they smell like. So Tommy Girl is something that I've been wearing when I was around, from I was 15. This is my first perfume and this is I think my third or fourth bottle. Uh, this one is, I think, of 12 years old <laughs> and I still have it, but I'm 34, almost 35 years old and I am, feel like I'm a little bit too old for this one, but it's my favorite and I love it. It smells fresh, citrusy perfumes and I, that is what I really like. Tommy Girls is something that gets me back to my childhood. <laughs> and summer. I really like this and if you're looking for a very young fresh scent I think this is one that you should try because I really like it. This is something that I always going to have. I'm not, not going to get rid of it because sometimes I do want to smell young. <laughs> okay then the one that I've been having um, something that I really like that suits my age is a compromises but this is Dolce Gabbana I'm not good even to try this. I studied French for six months, forgot everything. This smells also very fresh. It's something they wear every day and I really like it. This is how much I used. It's a very, very nice, nice perfume. Really, really like it. Um, it does last. Tommy Girl lasts for me very long. This does last around eight hours on my skin and I kind of like, like it. Uh, it gets, it doesn't stay strong on the skin, though I would like it to do so. But I, I like this perfume, I really like it and it's one of my favorite. The one that I forgot to talk about but I had that one a little bit longer than this one is Day K N O I. Be Delicious Apple, the green apple one. This one I smelled on my sister. She had this, I think, 10 years ago, not even longer. And it smells like fresh apples. And I really like how it smelled uh, on her. And I bought it. Though I do like the scent, but it doesn't really smell that nice on me. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but I, I prefer how it kind of sits on her skin more than on mine uh, and that is very interesting with the perfumes. Some They are so different from person to person so you really have to try it on your skin. If you like the scent please try it on your skin before you buy it because maybe it won't, won't work out for you as on somebody else. That is something I learned through the age and I like this scent but I don't usually, I don't use it that much. This is over 10 years old and I still have a lot of it left on in here. It's just something that I like how it smells but I don't like how it 
smells on me. Then something I wished from um, that my husband bought me that I really, really wanted. It's this Tent Laurent black opium. Black opium. This one is worth the hype. It's a little bit stronger than the other perfumes. It smells... I can't, I can't tell you. I'm so bad at describing. This is why I never did this video, because I'm so bad at describing the perfumes. That is why I have this information too. But this one smells very nice. A little bit stronger than the others. It doesn't really last on my skin more than maybe 7-8 hours. Um, which, which is a little bit disappointing. But I did use it a lot. I'm like down here, but I use it more than... <clears throat> you don't need m much of it. But I like this perfume. It smells more to the flowers than... Um, it's not too fruity. It smells more like flowers. But I like it and I think it's a nice fall scent for me. I like it. Uh, something that it's not a perfume but I really enjoy is this Brazil. <laughs> Brazilian Crush Spray Body Fragrance. I mean this is one. That this smell, smells beach. This is just a very nice body scent. I do, have, I do use it as a perfume, especially during the summer. I had it with me to Croatia last year and I use almost everything. And I bought another one because I really, really like it. I think this is a beautiful body fragrance of body spray, body fragrance, body mist. If you want to smell fresh, summery, but don't like perfumes, I think this will be very nice to have. I watched Caitlyn Light a couple of months ago. She talked about her favorite fragrance. And she was talking about Miami Glow from JLo. Uh, this is the, to the toilet. It's not a perfume, so it doesn't last longer. But this one doesn't really last longer on my skin. I've been using it a couple of times. And it smells more flowery than I would like it. So it's not my favorite scent. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just something... Um, it smells like Miami Beach, maybe. But it's a little bit stronger than um, I thought it would. It's not that I don't like it. It's just... It's, I'm not used to this scent. And um, fruity scent than this one. This one is more like flowers. So it doesn't say that on the packaging. And this is like a bracelet you can have it, but I think it's cute on the package. And I, I mean, I will definitely buy it again. Uh, I did use it a couple of times and my friends tell, told me that it smells very nice and very fresh. Uh, it's just something I'm not really used to, so I don't wear it a lot, but I did get compliments when I did have it on. So maybe I should wear it a little bit more. If you thought that I'm going to go into details about the scent, then you're wrong. I suck at describing scents. Okay, then I bought this one also, recommendation from um, beautiful Caitlin Light. Rebel Flow. Rebel Flow Pro by Rihanna. Can't pronounce this one, it's this big packaging. Uh, this one though, I used a little bit more than the other one. Uh, I love the packaging, let me show you. The bottle. I got a big one. This one is, many people really like this scent and I do like it too. It smells more, more fresh than, the, uh, the, than this one. I really like this, though it doesn't stay on my skin very long. I was kind of surprised because many people talked about this perfume, like it's going to stay on the skin for, for a long, long time, but it doesn't on my. I do use it. Uh, I've been using a lot, but you can't really see. I'm like down here and it doesn't stay as long on my skin, more than maybe six, seven hours. Uh, I can't smell it. Maybe other people can. I never asked someone. Maybe I should put it on and ask someone after a couple of hours if they can smell it on me. I don't know. Maybe I will try that. But I can't smell it on me after a couple of hours. And I do like it. This one is more... Uh, my taste. Love the packaging though. Many people really raved about this perfume and I went over to the Kicks and I smelled it and I didn't like it and uh, then smelled it on one of my friends and then I bought it. <laughs> and I'm strange. But it really uh, stays long on my 
skin. This is Dolce Gabbana light blue perfume. It's this packaging I forgot to show you. This is like velvet, something like the uh, Anastasia Renaissance palette texture. This is the same texture. And this one smells fresh. Citrusy. This is more me. I didn't like it when I spray it on this kind of test car. Uh, when I smell it in the store. But on my skin it smells fresh. And this is more, more me. Uh, stays on long on my skin. And I really like it. Uh, and the packaging is so cute. I also bought the body lotion. But I have it in one of my giveaways. That one uh, smells so, so good. I like this perfume. Uh, this is more me. I like it. it. Smells so fresh, smells nice and summery. Very summery. Something that is a little bit newer to my collection is La Nut, Lancome La Nut perfume. I got this a couple of weeks ago because so many people liked it. I've the packaging is stunning. This one is more like nightwear, night, night perfume. But this one smells also fruity, but also fresh and flowery and flowers and vanilla and citrus fruit. I don't know. It's so strange, but it's so it stays on forever on my skin. I really like this perfume. I, wore, I had it on maybe three times and I'm in love. This is maybe when I go out. I really like this one. This one I do recommend. It's a beautiful packaging. Very, very nice. Um, I tried other Lancome perfumes that I didn't like. This one I haven't tried, but I heard so many good things about it. And somebody said it smelled fresh. So immediately my hands went on by. Fresh, you said fresh, bye. I don't know why. I'm crazy. But I really like this, La Nute. I think uh, it smells better than the others that I tried from Lancome. I like this one. Something that I also had to buy because of people talking about it on, on YouTube is Good Girl from Carolina Herrera. Also velvet, velvety packaging. I don't know why I always keep these packages. I think they're beautiful. Maybe that's why. But it's but it takes time to take it out in the morning when I'm in a hurry. This packaging though, it's so beautiful. So I bought the smaller version because I was afraid to buy the full, the big size. Uh, look at it. This is so beautiful. I could never wear something like this, this high. Oh my God. So this, I was afraid because I never smelled it because I didn't know what I was buying, but people were, were talking about it like it was the best and is the best. This smells so, it smells fresh, fruity. It smells like a, like a woman, yeah, not teenager, a classic woman. Sounds so strange, but it really, it's a nice, nice smell to this perfume and I really like it. It's not too strong. It smells fresh also. Um, I really like it. I like the packaging. So I went and bought this small one. Definitely go for the big one when I use this one up. I like like this uh, good girl from Carolina Herrera. It's so good to be bad. I never go and buy perfumes if I didn't uh, try them myself because I'm scared that they are not going to suit me and then I'm stuck with losing hundreds and hundreds of dollars and stuck with a perfume that I don't like. Sometimes when I get samples or buy some cheaper perfumes that I don't like, I give the away to someone that does. But these kind of perfumes, you can't take it back. But I like this one. Then I went over to Sephora and um, tried these perfumes from Huda Beauty. Uh, Kayali can't pronounce it, the collection. So I bought this collection. They smell so good. I bought the smaller version. Um, okay, so my favorite is citrus. It smells so fresh, very nice. I love it. Uh, then I do like vanilla. It smells very, if you like vanilla, this one will be perfect. Then I do like the musk. This one, uh, my sister has this one and it smells so good on her. Smells also good on my skin too. 
too. This one is my le least favorite, elixir, 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 I can't pronounce it, but it smells good, but it's the one that I don't wear a lot. It's a little bit, a little bit too strong for me and it smells a little bit too much flowers. Uh, but I do really like it. Uh, these are worth the price. Of course, you can mix them together. This together with the citrus is beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I try to kind of mix them. I like when you mix these together. That is what I do like about these perfumes. So if you want to try out these, buy the smaller packaging, this kind of collection, because it's easier for you to kind of custom make your own scent. And if you really like what you got, if you really like what you have, then you can buy the bigger version. Uh, though I think this will last me for a long, long time. So I like this. And the two that are newest to my collection is two from Chanel. All fresh and oh, Viv, 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 these two. Let's take them out. Board of Dom. Smell very fresh, citrusy. That is what I bought them. I tried the others one in the store, didn't like them. These I do like. Let me show you. The packaging is stunning. I just fell in love with the packaging. This is like pink, peachy shade. This one smells so good. Uh, fresh oranges, grapefruit. Smells really, really nice. I like this. Very summery scent, perfume. Very summery. This one I also really like. This smells also citrusy. Is this all fresh? Fresh, of course. Click buy. And this one smells more. This is more like lemon. something else in here more at, like man perfume it's not for men it's a woman's perfume but it smells more to that masculine uh, scent and I like this one smells also very fresh fresh and also smells so good on my skin like I just went out of from shower really like it though it doesn't really last very long on my skin this one this one the other one stays a little bit longer but definitely going to have both of them i love these these are so good and of course i bought the big size i mean fresh citrusy what's not to buy so guys i want to apologize uh, that i was so bad at explaining my perfumes and how they um how the scent of them but i hope you enjoyed to see my perfume collection uh, or body fragrance collection, uh, my fragrance collection. <laughs> um, I hope you liked this video. You all are very interested to see my makeup collection, my beauty collection, and I have a lot of it. I mean, every, I need to clean, and maybe I will clean with you. I already cleaned my lipsticks, so I went, got rid of many of my lipsticks, especially the old Re Makeup Revolution ones, um, also ones that I bought from Rose Garden a couple of years ago that are a little bit too old. Uh, but I still have a lot of to get rid of, uh, so much eyeshadow palette. But if you're interested to see more of my beauty collection, makeup collection, then please let me know down below, like this video, so I know that you're interested to see more of these uh, videos. But guys, tell me down below what's your favorite fragrance. Do you have one? Do you own any of these that I have? What do you think about them? Let me know down below and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.